All right, so we're boondocking tonight at a Harvest Host location. And the fridge has two mm -hmm. lights, and that's never a good thing. So it's on auto, which means that it should be checking for electric or gas, but it's on check, which means that it's not working because we're not connected to shore power right now. If I switch it over to gas by pressing the gas button, the check light stays on, which means again, it's not working. Not working. Yeah. So I've tried turning it off. Give it a second to reset. Turning it on. I'll put it in auto mode. Listening to hear it say yeah. clicks. I hear it clicking. It stopped clicking. I don't know if that means that it fired or not, but it looks like we've been having an issue with it all day. So let's go outside and check. Alrighty. So I can hear it clicking. I can also oh, yeah. hear something else there. Almost sounds like a whooshing sound. Flathead screwdriver just to open these. Sometimes it's hard to get out. There we go. Ooh. I can see all that water comes out, which means that the freezer is draining. Yeah, that's not good. Nope. It's... The flame's lit. So what are we looking at here? If you look in right there, you can see in there, keep going. You can see back in there that the flame is lit, but it's still clicking. I don't see a flame, do you? Do your flame go oh, out? Babe. <laughs> no. No, it's still there. I can see it with my eye. I just can't see it with the camera. You can't see it with the camera? Uh -uh. All right, so it's still clicking. I don't know why. So... Huh. You know what? I think that was the problem. What's that? I'm not 100% sure, but can you see that right there? Which part? Let me get a Phillips screwdriver and pull this off real yeah, quick. Yeah, good idea. All right, just gonna pull this cover off really quick. If it'll come off. can see with my eye again it's very difficult to see well you can kind of see it there um, there's like a blue you can see the blue flame right now yeah kind of right there yep this is a pretty good okay so we just watched another YouTube video and he said that this is a reset button yep it's a basically a limit switch oh sorry that's, that's okay I can hear it's clicking again <laughs> I think we have a bad at niter. Well, that's not good. I think that niter is bad. So this gray wire here goes down into this right here. Yeah. Which goes in there, and that's what actually creates the spark for the flame. Now, that only works when we're running off propane. Most of the time, we're running off shore power. Right. So most of the time, this is not a problem. Just tonight. <laughs> so it seems to be working right now. What I thought the issue was is that this flange here was actually up against the wire, which could have been creating an issue and it's it shorting out. Well, more or less like it was shorting out. Okay, I thought that was some paper in there, but it's not. But it's still burning. It is, yeah. That's a good thing. Let's see if I can. Yeah. You alright? Yeah. Let's see if I can get this off. I'm gonna come over here to this side and see if I can. 
So what are you looking for now? This is the circuit board for the refrigerator. Right. I just want to see if I can get this off because I, as you can see, this gray wire goes through here. Right. Again, the gray wire is the, the um, igniter. Goes through here, wraps around this whole bundle here, yep. and then goes in there. Okay. So if I, I see that. if I need to order a new gray, if I need to order a new wire, uh, yeah, wire. I just want to see how this connects in here. And of course, this isn't, you know, they don't make this so you can get it off. Right. Because that would be too simple. There we go. Yeah, see how it just plugs in right there? Yeah. So, if all it does is plug in, well, and another then I should thought. be ordering, I should be able to order a new one. Yeah. And another thought you had was that maybe the um, fuse was bad? Was yeah, bad? so... Here, here's a fuse right here. See that right there? See that glass piece? Oh yeah. That's, that's an old style fuse. Yes, it sure is. Uh, the fuse is intact. Yeah, looks good. I can see that, that it's... So that's good. Solid and intact in there so that's not it let's see if that's still on it's still on still burning okay i have a feeling that this was the issue okay but i have a feeling that that might have caused the igniter to now create an issue with the igniter so mm -hmm. i think i'll look up that igniter and probably order a new one Alrighty. just to be on the safe side yeah because why not so, right all right well <laughs> stay tuned to uh installation of the new at nighter I guess there you go so here we are back at the refrigerator to fix it um, got my drill bought this electrode from camping world for $35.99 a couple screwdrivers and some uh, some uh, snips Pull this screw out right there out of the heat shield. What we're doing is we're replacing the igniter for the propane. This is a little bit of a pain, honestly. Pain's not exactly getting it out. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera, but you can see that that's the old one, or excuse me, that's the new one, that's the old one. This one looks pretty, pretty well burnt. It's got uh, probably carbon fiber on the end of it. I'm going to try to weave this new one back through.
it looks like that screw hole will line up the screw to keep it in the same position that it was in. Excuse me as an airplane goes over. Side. I'm going to press the button to turn the, the uh, refrigerator onto propane mode. Probably should have turned the fridge off to do this, so I turn it off and turn it back on. I hope I didn't mess anything up. firing so let me go back inside and check well it fired an issue not sure if you can see in there let me focus that You see right there the red glow of that niter. And it's not clicking like it had been. So I'm going to go back, turn this on to electric, and put it back together. Alright, it's about back on electric. Propane's turned off. I think we're good to go. Uh, one of the maintenance items I'll put on my list is vacuum the cell. I'm not able to do that at the moment, but I'll put that on my list of vacuum the cell. So let's go ahead and put it back together. One thing you want to make sure you always do is have a P-trap in your refrigerator drain. So feed it through one of the holes here. I just barely feed it through at all. Then you want to just make sure that when you put it in, you have a little formation there to where some of that water can sit. What that'll do is it'll help prevent bugs and land pollen and whatnot going up inside the fridge. That, that can happen. So when I put this in, it'll just create a little bit of a pea trap there. Apologize again, there's a, another airplane going over. As I said, we're right by uh, Portland International Airport. And then they have an air base there as well. So, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Did you subscribe yet? Click that button. Now hit the bell. And select all. Go ahead and like the video. Comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. And uh, thanks for joining us. I'm Kurt with Traveling Larsons. Have a great day.